Hey, what's going on? I really just want to welcome you to my very first digital download of a video, something that I've been thinking about doing for a extremely, extremely long time. I thought the very first subject for this matter would be secrets to making a successful seascape. And when I say secrets, I don't mean things that maybe we all don't know already, but I just wanna to try to run through some of those things as we're going along and making this so you don't forget these things. You got to implement these things into every painting. I always suggest to start off doing a painting, a very simple, very, very simple and basic painting, and then kind of growing from that point. You start off with something basic, you set it off to the side when you're done with it, and then you create another one and you can add more depth and more details to the second one and the third and so on and so on. So that's just my approach. So today we're gonna to do a basic seascape with all of the little things that you need to know to actually get this done to be able to grow on your own. Now, we will have an extensive shot of the palette, all the paint mixing, all of that stuff, so you won't miss a thing today. Before we get started, I'm just gonna put a list up of everything that we're using today. So you can just take a second, kind of get your stuff together, and I'll wait for you. Okay, now that you got all your stuff together, let's go ahead and jump right in and let's make us a nice little seascape. Something that we're all gonna be proud of at the end of the day. So the very first thing that I wanna do, we have a 16 by 20 canvas, as you already saw in the actual description of the supplies we're using. I want to take a piece of tape and I just wanna tape off the bottom section of this to this way we have our sky showing and we're not going to interfere with any of this lower section yet all right so any kind of masking tape is fine i have this very thick masking tape right here it's, it's very wide but but that'll do so i'm just going to rip a piece off oh. not long enough there we go all right, so now when you're making a seascape, I would always recommend that you do either two thirds of it to be your sky and one third, you know, to be like your sand and your, and your little waves crashing up onto the sands or two thirds the water and one third the sky. So just mix it up. I would recommend not to go center like this. Do not go the same, it just won't look right. And I've, I've done it that way before and it does not look right. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go right about, right about here. So something like that. You could take a tape measure or a ruler or, you know, whatever you need to. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it because it looks, looks about right. Looks about right. All right. That's good. Okay. All right. And we'll peel this off when we get to that point. Okay. So we have our colors laid out on the palette exactly as you saw it on the screen before this. The first thing that we're gonna do after we put the tape up, which we just did, we are going to mix a combination of Gamblin's Clear Gel and some Titanium White. And this is gonna allow, if you don't do this step, the paint is not gonna mix at all. It's just not gonna flow good and it's not gonna mix. So, so here we go. Okay, we have our Clear Gel and our White, just a small little section of each and we're gonna just mix that about 50-50, all right? I have a one inch brush right here. We're gonna use a one inch brush. And I'm gonna pull some of this gel out. See, pull it, and then pull some of the white out. And then you just kind of bring them together. Now you'll notice I used about maybe a little less than half of each pile. See, boom, perfect. See that? You get a nice, nice thin, thin white. Okay, now this little area right here, I probably put too much of that down because this is probably enough for two or three different skies, all right? Okay, so now let's go right up on here and we're gonna take that, <clears throat> we're gonna take that and we're gonna start just going little, you know, little X's and just kind of spreading it around. Now this is gonna take a few minutes to do this. 
and sometimes it's good to do a little bit, take a break, come back in a few minutes. Now I'm just gonna reach down here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a little bit more, okay? And scrub this in. I'm, I'm just kind of applying it to get it where I want it and then I'll do start doing circles and I'll start scrubbing this color in. It's actually not a color, but it's, it's technically a color. White is a color. This medium mixed with white will get that spread around. Or you can go back to areas if you have it a little bit thicker in areas, you can go back, pick it up, and just kind of move it around. Now I'm going to go back down here. I'm just picking up a little bit more from our pile that we mixed up here. Go into a new area. And these, this is one of the things that I would consider one of the hardest parts of, of the painting is getting it prepared. Just back down here, picking up just a little bit more. I'm going to keep repeating that. Now my easel is not really moving too much because I do have it bolted. And I would recommend that if you're, if you're painting at home, you know, or at a desk or a, or a table or anything like that, and you have a smaller easel, you may have to hold it with your hand to really get this to work in nicely. All right, because I make a lot of the videos and I do a lot of paintings, I, I went ahead and just, you know, bolted this into the wall. It's kind of a designated space here in the studio just for, for painting. Saves me a little bit of time. So now I've, I've gone to circles now, you see? I used, the X, I used X's pretty much all over and it's pretty much distributed almost everywhere on the canvas. And if you look off to the side, if you kind of look from a side view, you'll see a glare and that's how you know that you have the whole thing covered. All right, <clears throat> but when you, feel like, when you feel like you're not reaching an area or maybe it doesn't feel like it's spreading, start to do the circles. Very, very important. That's a very, very important thing because a lot of people will get frustrated and they'll add more and then it'll turn to mud. So you don't want to do that. All right, and then go back and forth like this back and forth. All right, so we've, we've spent a few minutes on this already, you see? Having this distributed is by far one of the most important things that you can do. If you have too much, you're gonna have trouble. If you have not enough, you're gonna have trouble. And we want you to, we want you to have fun doing this, you know? That's what you're, you're painting for, you know, uh, a release. You want to have fun. All right, so take your time. See? Okay. There we go. Now I'm just going to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just going to, I'm going to just take this here. I'm going to wipe this off a little bit, see? And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to wipe this off. All right, set that on my magnet. And for the time being, because we're not going to use any more gel, <clears throat> I would recommend that you take your knife, all right, and just get rid of it. All right, take it on off and get rid of it. And this way you have no chance, you have no chance of, of dipping your brush into it by mistake. All right, and I'm going to take, uh, I have the extra white that I have, I'll just put that in my pile of white. All right, so I'm just wiping that off with a paper towel real quick, just to get it out of the way. Okay. All right, now, let's start off, let's make, let's make a very, very standard sky, something Something that's nice, but but standard, okay? <clears throat> so here's our here's our palette here. I'm gonna grab a two inch brush. Okay, we have our colors, which is our colors sliding here. Let me just let me get that under control real quick. We have our our black paint is running away from us. There we go. All right. <clears throat> now, two inch brush. I'm gonna take a small amount of our blue, Prussian blue, all right? 
Prussian blue, small amount, flip it over, get it nice and equal on there, and a tiny, tiny bit of black. It's gonna just dull that just a hair. All right, Prussian blue, tiny bit of black. Okay, now let's head up on here and just drop in this nice and easy sky. All right, start in the corners and just work your way, work your way across. See that? Start in the corners. Very little bit of paint's on here. Very, very little bit of paint. All right. Okay, now, I'm gonna actually take the paper towels and the two inch, I'm gonna wipe it off. All right, I just wanna remove any excess paint that's on here, just kinda wipe it off. All right, <clears throat> now, same brush. After we wiped it off, let's just go right back up here and I'll start working down a little bit lower and I'm gonna leave a little spot open here in the center. Just a little spot. Blend the edges a little bit. And you want it to be lighter and lighter, which you probably already know that, as you get down to the bottom, all right? Very, very light down here. That'll help you see far away. All right, just take your time and do this. Go back and forth, do these big X's. And if something looks a little rough, we can come back and blend it, so don't let that get to you. Anything can be taken care of and fixed. All right. You can pull a little bit of the dark down if you'd like. Nice even blend, see? Now, okay, I'm gonna take these paper towels again. Just give this a quick hit real quick. wiping this off real good. Now I'm going to go back up here. There's barely any paint on here, okay? Barely. If you'd like, you can clean a brush, or if you have a clean brush, I have one, but I'm going to save it. And I'm going to come back up here, and I'm just going to smooth some of this out. You could do little circles with barely any pressure. Or you could do the X's. Doesn't matter. It really comes down to whatever you're comfortable with. All right. Okay. Now, something that I like to do before I, you know, before I set a brush down, I always like to wipe it off, okay? I try not to clean the brushes if I can help it. So if you give it, a, if you wipe it off, the chances are you might be able to use it next, unless you're gonna use it to go into a yellow or something like that. So try to get into that habit. Wipe them off, wipe your brushes off, and then set it back where it goes. Okay, <clears throat> now we have this light area, okay, that we left up in here, and I did that for a reason. When you're doing a picture, when you're making a sky, a lot of times we just throw the color down. We start at the top, we start working our way down. Yes, it gets lighter as it goes down, but it really is easier if you leave an area with less paint on it. If you have an area that's white like this, it's gonna help that cloud stick much better, okay? So just think about that in the future. All right, so now let's grab a number six fan brush. Number six fan brush. And let's just take some white paint right here. All right, I have this whole pile of white going here. Let's just take some white paint. Get it on there. See that? Pull it, flip it, flip it over, pull it. See? Keep doing that. It gets a lot of paint. It gets a lot of paint on here. Now, <clears throat> we can figure out, we have a couple areas we can see where the light is. So I'm just going to sort of use that as a basic shape for a funky looking cloud, okay? That's what I'm going to do here. So I'm gonna take the, the fan brush, I'm gonna use the corner of it, corner of the brush, and I'm just gonna to start to outline this big old cloud up here. See, just gonna outline it. Using the corner of the brush, 
And I'm going to keep going down here and reloading a little bit. Okay, now you're going to get a little bit of that blue in there possibly, but that's okay as long as it's not a lot. All right, here we go. Back up here to the corner, and I'm just following the shape. And I'm staying mostly in the area that's white, so I'm not going to pick up too much blue. See? Now you can flip and use the other corner. This is a big cloud. Big old cloud. See that? Now because we left the white in there, it's going to help that, it's going to just going to help it look more white like a cloud. All right, now let me just come down here and get a little bit more paint. And see, I'm not even really picking up any of the blue at all. Maybe a tiny bit. All right. <clears throat> now I want this to go right down like this. Right down to the bottom. See? Just like this. Hit the tape, doesn't matter. See? Let's get a little bit more paint. Still not picking up any of that blue, which is awesome. Still not picking it up. Here we go. Nice. Put a little layer right here. See? I'm just using the corner of this brush and I'm just doing circles and that's all. There's no, you know, there's nothing hard about doing that right there. Corner, circles, all right? You can do them slow, you can do them fast, you can do whatever. But if we had just went straight down and did not leave this area open right here, we would have been picking up, we would have already contaminated the whole, just about the whole pile of white paint that we have up there. We, it would have been, it would have been blue, it would have been a light blue, it would have been a, been a good shadow color for a mountain is what it would have been. Okay, I'm just going <coughs> to wipe this off. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let me just wipe that off. Set that down. Okay. Now, I want you to grab a clean brush, a two-inch brush, a clean one. All right, I'm going to take the one that I used earlier. Um, I'm wiping mine off very good. I know that mine is going to work, but I would recommend to grab a clean one, okay, just to avoid any, uh, any issues. All right, I'm going to do a very easy blend on this. So I'm going to start down here. And the reason why I want you to grab a new one is I don't want you to get blue paint into here. All right, so I'm going to do a very, very soft, soft blend right here. I'm just going over, you know, the whole cloud except for the, not the top. I'm leaving the tops original. All right, a little there. Very, very carefully. Super easy. And then we can come right down here. Same thing. Leave the tops alone because they, they tend to stand out and they look really nice and they separate the clouds, the tops. All right. All right. Now, paper towel, quick wipe. And then I'm going to just, I'm going to lift up on them just a little bit, see, a little bit, just to, just to kind of, it sets them in place. It really does. It works. This is very well. I do this all the time to my clouds. All right, just a few times. Lift them up, lift them up. All right, and then you can give it a good wrap back and forth, just like this. Nice and easy. Carefully, okay, going to wipe this off. And there we go. We have, we have a very, very nice and a very, very effective little sky right there. And we got that by leaving that nice open area right there, that nice white area. I think that is so critical, so critical. You can incorporate that into mountain paintings, into, you know, any paintings that you want. You leave that nice light area and you have a beautiful, beautiful white and a puffy cloud. Now, if you tried to put constant blue down over, you know, the whole sky, start from the top, X is all the way to the bottom, you're going to have trouble getting this. Unless you're really experimenting with the consistencies of your paint, this is going to be a struggle. So I hope this helps you right here in the future of your paintings. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and peel this tape off. Okay. 
peel that off, get that out of the way. Now we're left with a you know, fairly straight line. Mine seems uh, pretty crooked, but that's okay. I'll fix it. All right, so yeah, looks pretty, no, I'm just kidding, pretty straight. Now, beautiful sky. I actually like this sky. I, I'm gonna make more skies like this. All right, now let's go ahead and grab our palette. Okay, now uh, let's mix up a color for down here. And we'll put that off to the side and we'll get back to that. All right, so let's do this. Let's take right here, blue paint. All right, little pile of blue. See on the knife, just a little bit, a little bit of black. And let's just put a touch of the red in there. Blue, black, and red. Just a little bit, each one. Start off with a small amount. So if you're curious, it's like picture a Hershey Kiss, and it's about half the size of that, maybe a quarter. See that little roll right there? All right, that amount, okay? A little bit of blue, black, and red. That'll give us a gray blue color, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Always be hopeful. And if we need more, if we need more, we'll make more. Okay? Just wipe the knife off. All right, now, let's go ahead first and grab, I'm going to grab a filbert brush, okay? Now, the very first thing that I would recommend when you're going to go and make a wave, let's go ahead and take this filbert brush and let's sketch that wave in. So let's just take a tiny amount of our mixed color here. Very, very small amount. You don't need to have much. Just enough to make a basic sketch on the filbert, okay? The less paint, the better. All right, let's think about this wave Poof, coming across. It just wind in like this, and it's coming up, and it goes right here. Boom. See that right there? And then it comes right like that, okay? Looks like a mountain. Looks like a little mountain. See that? Make your basic mountain shape right in the painting. Boom. All right, let's go ahead down here and get a little bit more. A little bit more of this paint. A little bit more. And let's see about sketching the rest of this in. So we know we're going to have some stuff that's going to go boom like this. It's going to There's a little crasher part right here, see? It follows that little curve. See that little curve right there? That curve is important. See? Boom. Get a little bit more. I keep going down here and I just keep pulling it through, chiseling the uh, filbert brush. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right, and then we can come in here and think about the land. You know, maybe where this wave starts to go, you know? Shroom. Think about it. You could have multiple different layers. Just think about it. This could be changed too. This is just a basic little sketch of our wave crashing down. Okay, kind of runs this way and just kind of disappears. And see, see this here. I'm going to draw some lines. Think about the direction of the wave. See, okay, goes like that. And then over here to the left, I think it's going to get flatter. It's going to be a little less. Okay, up here it's more of a Oof, swooshes down, okay. All right, and that's just a basic, very, very basic sketch. That's all that is. It's a very basic sketch. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna screenshot that sketch. I'll figure out what to use it for later. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Got the filbert brush going. <clears throat> Got the filbert going. Okay, let's just do this. Let's go back to our color, our pile that we mixed up. Let's get some more paint on here. And let's take this filbert. 
And since it's already dirty, let's just start, let's get some of that color right up here like this. Okay. Now take your time, take your time. You know, get close as you can to your line. All right, you don't want to make uh, any hills. Maybe you do want to make some hills back here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to get some of this color in. I'm just going back and forth. See, place the filbert down nice and flat and just scooch it back and forth. All right, back and forth. About a half inch each way. All right. Just getting some of this dark color in there. That's all we're doing right now. Okay. Now, come over here. Do the same thing. Get some of that dark color in. A little bit there. A little bit there. Pretty easy, right? All right, let's go grab some more of our color. And start dropping in some down here, okay? Now, when I put these brush strokes on, you're gonna notice they sort of already start to follow the direction of the wave. I think that's important. Just grabbing some more paint. Super important. You wanna follow the wave, follow the strokes. That goes for anything, any lay of the land. You want it to follow the land. All right. It gives you a better idea when you look at it. You have a sense of direction of where it's going. And I just think it helps. Okay. I'm just going to scrub some of this color in here. Let's grab some more color. Okay. dropping color in down here. Now we, we're going to highlight this and we're going to change things a little bit, no problem. Okay. I'm using very little paint. Just getting some color down here just to cover up some of the white. Okay. We'll leave some of the white going for now. Okay. Let's go down here, get some more of this color. Okay. And I think we're going to put some over here. Yep. Just drop a little bit in over here. Okay. Just scrub this right along. Okay. Put some there, put some here. Just get it on there. You know what I mean? Just get this paint on here and we'll work with it. Okay. Let's grab some more color. See, I haven't even used that little pile yet, the whole pile. And we've done already the top and the bottom, pretty much. Okay. Now I'm leaving a little bit of an indication showing right here. Okay. It's just going to help me figure out where this wave is actually going. Okay. So let's just get up in here and get some here. Okay. A little bit more color. All right. A little bit more color. Just pulling from this area right here, a little pile of ours. And maybe I'm going to put a little bit here because we're going to put an eye in this wave. All right. And I'm going to put some color, some dark color where I don't want the eye. Get some more color here. And I want this all to be dark right there. Okay. Coming along, coming along pretty good. Looks like a big dark mess right now, but I'm telling you, it's working. It's working. All right. All right, I set the filbert brush down and I'm gonna grab us a one inch brush. And that's fine. I'm going to just use the one that I used the gel for. I wiped it out very, very good. If you have a clean one inch brush, I would recommend to actually use a clean one. All right. 
Now we're going to take the one inch brush and I'm going to just work some of this dark color together, okay, so it doesn't look so spotty, all right? There's nothing on the brush. I just want to work some of this together just to make it a little nice and smooth, okay? Fill up some of the little areas with, you know, we're just distributing the paint that's already on this, okay? And I'm not, I'm not worried about back here. If yours is rough back here, then yes, you can hit it a few times. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just covering. See, you still see the white areas that I left in there. You still see that. Okay, pull it, pull it. Okay. This is just a good way to distribute the color that you already put down. That's, that's what this is. Pull it right into the white, just like this. Okay. And that little shade of blue right there that's going onto the white canvas, when we put our brown down, this is going to end up looking like water that's maybe just very thin and just kind of running above the sand. All right. I'm just filling in areas here. All that I'm doing. Nice and dark right there. Nice and dark. Okay, I left this little spot here because we're gonna put some foam right there, okay? And if you didn't leave this spot, if you already covered it with dark color, that's fine too. Because you could just take a, a paper towel and you can come right up and just go whoop. You can just wipe that off, see? Very, very simple stuff. Okay. All right, take a second and do this. Don't rush through, you know, definitely don't rush. Okay. Now I think I think it's important <laughs> before we move on, let's get the whole base done, okay? All right, now let me grab the palette. Okay. Now, grab the palette, okay? I have our my filbert brush right here. I did not wipe it out. I'm going to go into our brown here, our burnt umber. See that? I'm going to go right into that. Get some on there. See that? Nice chisel. Perfect. Now, let's come up here. Let's start right here. Start in the corner. You know why? Because it's going to be darkest here. You always want the corners dark. That's why I always start in the corners and then I work my way over the bottom here. We want the bottom to be dark and then it can get a little lighter as we go. I'll pull a little bit more paint. Okay. Go right down here. I'm going to come up to this white area where the blue mixes with the white. I'm going to just about touch it. All right. Don't, it doesn't have to be perfect right yet. Just get the color down. Okay. Let's get some more. Get some more. Just get it on here. You're going to see little white parts of the canvas showing through. Don't, don't let that bother you. Okay. When we get closer to here, we're going to scrub a little bit. Scrub a dub dub. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's set that down. Now, we have our one inch brush. Let's do this. Let's take a paper towel and just give this a nice, easy little wipe. Okay, nice and easy. Now very lightly, we'll start here, just like this. Start working up and then we'll work over the bottom here. Work out the bottom and the side first and then we'll work up. Smooth all this out nice and easy. See that right there? Nice. Okay, let's come back to a paper towel. Give it a quick wipe. Now let's give this a nice little mix right here. Nice soft, right into the blue. We're blending that line, dragging it back and forth. Dragging the, the brown into the blue and the blue into the brown. No problem. No problem at all. Okay. Nice and soft. I'm using no pressure doing this. Okay. And it's going to have a little halo thing going on right there. And that's perfect. That's great. Because that's going to allow us to see 
sort of where the beach sand is, okay? Very nice, very, very nice. Give this a quick wipe. Okay. Set that down. All right, all right, all right. Okay, next. I'm gonna grab me another filbert brush. And let's go ahead and put the eye of the wave in. That seems to be the fun thing to do. Okay, so we, we drew our little mountain V shape right there. We left that pretty much clear. All right, so let's go up here and grab, uh, let's take a pile of white paint and just set it off to the side. Yeah, let's grab a pile there and set it right there. Something like that, okay? Let's go up here to the yellow. A little bit of yellow, okay, on the filbert. Put that into our pile of white down there. And let's just mix it together. Super bright. White and yellow. Okay, white and yellow. Good enough. Good enough. All right, now we're going to come up here and I'm going to set the filbert down and work, work this eye in. I'm setting it and placing it and I'm actually dragging. I'm dragging it. You see that? Now I'm going to flip the filbert over because there's a little dirt on the back. And I'll come down and hit this section here. See? Hit this section. See that? Nice. Okay? Now that should be all for the eye right there that we're going to need. So I'm going to take uh, this filbert and wipe it off. See some of that dirt came off on the paper towel. That's why I flipped the filbert over because I still had fresh paint on the other side. All right. <clears throat> Okay, grab your, grab your clean two inch brush, your clean one, and let's come up here and just start to blend this thing with the, you know, using the corner of the two inch brush. This is gonna take a minute, but just be patient. Using the corner, doing these little, it looks like I'm doing bigger circles, but the bristles are on the canvas all the time. Okay. Now, come down here and wipe this off a little bit. I'm going to come back up here. And I'm going to keep blending. Work it down. See that? Wipe it off. Don't be afraid to wipe it off. Work that color around. work that color around nicely see here we go and just like that we have a nice little transition nice little transition all right all right so let's go ahead and grab let's go ahead and grab the other filbert that's a little dirty that has our dirty color on it okay and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna scoop up I'm gonna scoop up some white paint now this dirty filbert has some brown on it I know that so let's reach over and grab some blue into that brown. Let's reach over and grab a little bit of blue. Just I touched a little bit of the blue. A little bit of the blue. All right, and then to that, let's go ahead and take a little bit of our original color that we mixed up. Put that in there. Just a little bit, see? Just pulling a little bit of it over. I want a gray-blue color. Nice gray-blue color. All right. Nice gray blue. And just keep mixing. Keep mixing until you get that nice, nice gray blue color. Okay. And we're going to use this for some foam. Okay. Now, <clears throat> all right, all right. Before we put the foam in, before we do, we already have our color mixed up here, okay, on our filbert. Let's go ahead and grab a fan brush. Now, your fan brush should have white in it from the clouds. Let's go over here to the white paint on the fan brush, okay? Let's pull a little bit of that white in, just like this, see? Right there. A little bit of white. Flip it, pull it, flip it, okay? 
get a little bit on there. Let's come up here and let's drop in the crash or part of the wave. The okay, so we're going to place this brush flat. And we're going to pull, pull. Okay, watch. See that? Pull. Flip it. Flip it. Okay. Come back down and get some more paint. Get some more paint. Just want an indication here. Just so you can see a little bit of it. A little, little bit's fine. Okay. It's good enough right there. Let's set that brush down. Okay. We already have our foam. We already have our foam color mixed up. Okay, right here, the shadow foam on the filbert. <clears throat> now I'm going to use little circles. I'm going to use the tip of the brush and little circles about the size of a quarter, maybe less, maybe a nickel. Okay, I'm going to come right here. See these little circles? Eh, let's say they're the size of a dime. I'll get some more paint on here. All right, little circles, the size of a dime. And I'm going to follow this down. And I'm going to come down like this. See these? Yeah, little circles. Now, I always stop right there. You know why? Because what happens is we get going, everything feels good, and it feels right when we get up here, and we're making all kinds of mud because we don't have enough paint on the brush. So let's go back down here, get some more of our shadow color, a fresh load on the filbert brush, and then we continue. Little circles, little circles. Say that, little circles. Little circles. Okay. There we go. Now, let's get some more paint. Get some more on here. Now we can get a little bit more brave with our foam. We can extend it a little bit, make it a little bit bigger now that we know we have our basic shape in. See that? All right. Nice and dark down here, just an indication that the wave still goes down, okay? There we go. So there we have some foam in there. Now I left this white area right here because I'm going to put some highlight right there and I'd like that to stand out, all right? <clears throat> now, let's switch filberts real quick. We have the other filbert we just had some yellow paint on and that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Take that and let's go right into the white, okay? The amount of yellow paint that you should have had for the eye should be very minimal compared to what we're using now. So the white should just take right over. Okay, so here we go. White paint on the filbert. Quite a bit. Quite a bit of paint. That's a lot of paint on there. See that? That's a lot. Nice and thick. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to do this section first. Stop. And then I'll do this section. It's just something that helps me. Okay. So here we go. Same thing, I'm not gonna, except for, not the same thing, let me rephrase. I'm not gonna do dime sized circles, okay? I'm gonna do little areas first, like little half circles. And I'm gonna start on the edge. Start on the edge, start on the edge, see that? Those are half circles. And I'm gonna come right back down here and I'm gonna get some more paint. Keep that fresh paint coming. I'm gonna follow the foam, follow the foam, flip the brush. Follow the foam, follow the foam. See that right there? Come back down, let's get some more. You're gonna see a little bit of blue in there. That's okay, if it bothers you, you can wipe it off before. All right, but that's gonna be just fine. All right. Now we're gonna do this section here. All right, so here we go. Stick into the top, stick into the top, stick into the top. Half circles. Half circles, that's all that is, see that? Okay, now let's go down here and get a little bit more white paint. Now we can kind of come into here and we can extend this just a little bit. Once again, half circles. Just bring that foam a little bit more down. We're going to blend this. Keep the lighter spots at the top. Okay, nicely. Let me stand back, have a look. Nice. Okay. Right here, we'll make this into a little circle. Take your time on this stuff. Okay, take your time on this. It's a good thing. All right. I'm going to set the palette down. Let's just take a second and let's wipe off our filbert. Wipe it off. I do little circles. Wipe it, wipe it. If you would like to clean yours, you know, feel free. Clean them. 
absolutely. I'm just uh, going to grab the other filbert and do the same thing. Just wipe it off. I'm just trying to uh, use less paint thinner if possible. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. All right. Okay, both filberts are nice and clean now. Well, they're paint free, not paint free. They're no globs of paint. <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay. Let's grab, let's grab a one inch brush. All right, I'm going to grab one that I wiped off. I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit more. And let's go right here. Extremely soft pressure. Extremely soft pressure. I'm just going to use a couple of hairs on this brush to blend some of this foam, okay? I mean, literally a couple hairs. I'm using a couple hairs of it. I'm using like the corner of the brush the corner. I'm just trying to mix up. See, I'm doing it in sections. I'll, I'll switch the angle now. Switch that angle up. Work it down this way. Using just a few of the hairs there on the end. That is no exaggeration at all. Okay. And there we have a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, area of foam already right there. Okay. Beautiful. All right. The very next thing that we are going to do is we're going to grab Filbert, the cleaner Filbert, the, the one with the white paint that we just used for the foam. Let's grab that and let's go down here and load up into, let's load up into some white paint. And that's okay. There's a touch of that blue in there and that's fine. That is, that is fine. All right, let's get some paint on here. Let's go up here. We're gonna think about what we did here, okay? A little halo effect going on right there. We are gonna drop in some white paint as highlights and think about our water crashing back to this wave. All right, so we're gonna start right here, place the brush down flat, and I'm just gonna pull backwards. You see that right there? Reload, come down here. And let's do the same thing right here right underneath of it. Let's pull some of that back, okay? Pull, pull back, pull back, and think about a little upward direction, little upward direction, okay? I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna keep doing this, keep doing it. As we get to the edge, it's gonna be more flat. When we get further towards the center, it's gonna kinda go upward, see that? It's gonna go up, because the wave is pulling it in, it's taking it in, it wants it to, wants it to crash. See? See that right there? And you start seeing a basic shape, a very, very basic shape. Now, I haven't loaded any more paint on. I'm just using my brush and on the other side. And I'm just going to pull just some basic highlights this way. Okay? Just some basic lights. And they're going to be all different colors. We started here because we want them to be bright. And we worked our way to the left because it's going to be a little bit more dark. All right, and then we can put a, drop a few little things over here, okay, just like this. Just a few little dull lines, okay. Just pulling it with the filbert. No, I have not loaded any paint, you, or you would have seen it. See? Okay. Now. We have a pretty wild looking wave there so far, huh? <laughs> pretty crazy, pretty crazy. All right, let's do something fun real quick. Let's take the filbert. Let's get some paint on here, some white paint. It's okay, there's a little blue in there. Let's get some paint on here and let's go back here. And let's just drop in a little, let's drop in a little line. See that little white line? Let's load some more paint. We're gonna put a few lines in back here. Just a few, just so it looks like maybe there's something going on. Okay, a few lines. They look like little miniature triangles. All right, and I'm just going to take this and just kind of take the filbert, and I'm going to softly pull the edge of these lines out. All right, this will end up looking like just some, you know, background waves or, or something going on. Okay. Don't have to be much. It'll look it'll look like something though when you're done. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
And I think we can touch up a little bit of this foam coming right here. I want it to be a little bit more showing. So let's grab some white paint. See, a little blue is fine. A little blue is fine. Just hitting the tops. See this? Just hitting these tops. I want it to look nice and foamy. See that? Nice and foamy. Okay. Let's grab our one inch brush that we just used and do the same thing. Use a few hairs of it. Just a few little hairs. Just to stir it up. Okay. All right, let's set this down. Okay, with that same one inch brush, the very same one inch brush, give it a quick wipe, quick wipe. And let's softly, don't touch this, but the areas that we pulled back, softly, softly pull it in the direction that, you, that it's going. Soft, super soft. Very, very light pressure. Okay, very light pressure. And if you hit the if you hit this area, don't worry about it. We'll just go right back over top of it. Okay. Soft. Just think about the direction of the wave. Okay. Right. I'm going to set this one inch brush down. And I'm going to grab the filbert brush. Get some white paint on it. I'm using a lot of white filbert paint today. Okay. Now I think I want to have a little bit more pronounced thing happening here. So I'm going to take the filbert and do that right there. See that? And then I'm going to come right next to it after I drop that line down. And I'm going to, I'm going to wiggle and just kind of pull some things apart like this. Pull it to the left and pull it to the right and just make a little indication. These are like big water lines is what this is right now. Okay? See that? And don't worry, we're going to blend that in a second. <laughs> Get some more white paint. And maybe do the same thing here. Just drop a line. Drop a line. Pull some of it down. See? Just make these little cool little designs. All right. It's going to give a little indication of which way the waves go. More flat here. See? More flat there. All right. Now, back to that one inch brush. Think about the shape of the wave. Pull it. Soften it. Pull it. Pull it down. See? Do a little circle if you'd like. Make it nice and soft. Nice and soft. Okay, these are all little underlying little spots that maybe you can see through, maybe you can't. You know, so you soften this all up. Okay, soften it all up. It just makes it look more like water. Let's grab some more of that white. And I'm going to touch up some of this right here. Just so we know this is some foam here still. See? Little pieces. Don't make it too bright towards the edge. Okay? Just a little bit. Just an indication is, is most of the time good enough. We can just hit it with a nice little blend. Carefully, carefully. See? Carefully. Nothing to it. Nothing to it. All right, all right. Okay, now, now, what are we going to do? All right, let's grab our one inch brush. Take some one inch brush here and let's go and take, all right, let's take a little bit of yellow ochre. Let's get a little bit on there, flip it, get a little on the one inch, and let's go right over here with some white just to turn that color. All right, yellow ochre and white. All right, let's go right up here. And I'm going to drop in 
a little bit of sand, a little shiny, pull it down, touch, pull, touch, pull. Less as you get to the edge, okay? Come over here, you might tap in a little bit more. Yeah, tap a little bit more of that color. Same thing here. Touch, pull, 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 okay? You get the idea, right? Okay. Now, I'm gonna take the paper towel and the one inch, I'm gonna wipe that off. Now you can do two things. You can use a two inch brush to go back and forth, but look, when you wipe off your one inch brush, nice and good, it's no problem. Watch this. Nice and easy, see? Back and forth, see that? You could drag this whatever way you want it. Make it brighter, make it duller, okay? We just put a little bit of that color in there, that, that yellow ochre and white because we want it to look sandy, shiny, shiny, sandy. You see that right there? No problemo. See what I'm saying? All right, let's set down the paper towels and let's set that down. We're moving right along, moving right along. Okay, it's time to grab your palette knife. Palette knife, palette knife. Okay, I'm gonna clear some of this out of the way, just a little bit. Just that pile with the yellow ochre in it. Okay, I don't care if there's a little blue, that's fine. That actually works to our advantage. All right, I'm gonna pull some color out, nice and flat. And I'm gonna cut through on the knife. All right, pull it out nice and flat. Pull it like this, flat. Cut through it. All right. Now we're going to come up here and we're going to slice us in some sand. Some water, I'm sorry, not sand, some ripples. All right, so I'm going to hold the knife and I'm going to start right about here and I'll continue to this side. All right, I'm going to start right about here, right about here. And I'm slicing it in. See that? Slice that sand or that water in. Okay, let me set the rest of the paint there. I'm going to come right back up here to our pile. Pull it flat, cut across, get some more. Let's go over here. Let's come right here. See that? Nice little line right there. That's just a water line, okay? I'm going to keep doing the same thing. Let's come down here and pull, pull some out nice and flat. Boom. Cut some across, get some on there. And I'm just going to strengthen this one just a little bit, okay? All right, so there is our very first, <clears throat> very first little water line. I'm going to wipe the knife real quick, set it down, and all right, grab yourself the fan brush that we used for the clouds and whatever else we just used it for. It should have a little white paint on it, no problem at all. Or if you have a dry fan brush, feel free to use that. I'm just wiping mine off real quick. Okay. Now with a, with a fairly clean fan brush, let's just drag, take the edge of this and drag some of it back. Try not to kill the nice little rippled uh, front area. Okay, drag some of this back, just like that. And same thing here, kill the back edge. See that? Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Okay, back to the knife. Back to the knife. Pull it out nice and flat. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Shoom. Cut across. Get a nice little amount on there. Cut it, see? Gives you a little ripple. Little ripple. Now I'm going to start here in the center again. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to come right here and I'm going to start right about here. Cut it, cut it. See that? Made one there. I'm going to come right back down here to the palette. I'm going to cut across and get me some more. Nice little chunk of paint on there. I'm going to come right up here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm cutting and I'm on a 45 degree angle. Okay, you see that right there? Okay, let's set the palette down. Of 
Grab your fan brush, give it a quick little wipe on the paper towels. Nice little wipe. Come in here and do the same thing. And then you could use a filbert if you'd like. If you feel more comfortable with a filbert, use that. Let's drag some of this edge back. You might get a little more control with a filbert. Same thing over here. Drag this side back. Just killing that back edge. Okay, just kill it. Kill the back edge. See? Nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, set that down. All right. Moving along. Okay, here we go. Grab, we are going to grab a liner brush. Grab a liner brush. I'm going to dip into some thinner. Dip into some thinner and I'm going to go right up here, right up here into that pile. This is the shadow color that we used for the, uh, the uh, foam. Go right into here, just mixing it very, very thin. Okay, any, any light blue or grade blue will work for this. Okay, get it on there, get a nice bit on there, boom. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to start to drop in little lines, okay? Just filling the, uh, filling the brush up here, filling it up. And I'm gonna think about little, little lines. And I'm gonna just make them go in little different directions, little, think about water, the little veins of the water. See, drop them in. Think about the basic shape of the wave as you're putting these in. You want them to kind of go similarly on the angle that the wave is going. Just going down here to get some more. Drop them in wherever you need to put them. Wherever. Different directions, different sizes and different shapes. You could drop a few out here if you'd like. A, little, a couple in the sand, maybe some of the water sneaking out into there. Very, very nice. Go down here and load up a little more. I'm gonna come right out of the wave like this and right through the eye. See that? Just making all kinds of things. Maybe there's some down here. The ground is more flat here because it's crashing here. Okay, I'm going to clean that off real quick, a little bit more thinner. Now, I'm going to take that same liner brush and I'm going to go into a little bit of a lighter color. Nice, pretty much white, white, white. Try to get this not to run off the palette when I'm trying to hold the angle right. <laughs> a little bit of white. Now, I want to drop in a few little, a bright one, maybe here and there, because the light is shining through right there, you see? So you want to make these a little brighter here. Don't put the bright ones on the edges. Just put them where the light would be. Make a little line out here if you want. These always look pretty neat. See? Something like that. Put that little bit of white right there. That'll that'll help you. You know that'll that'll really help you a lot. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take that same liner brush, and the original color that we used to fill the ocean in. I'm going to grab just a little bit of that color. It's a very very dark color, so you got to be careful with this. Very dark. Very dark. And I'm going to come right up here. And I'm going to put in a little. A little line, a little separator line for the foam. See? And I'm wiggling the I'm wiggling the brush. Just wiggle it, wiggle it. And you can actually use the liner brush 
to soften it. See this by touching it? You can use the liner brush. Nice. Okay. And what that does is that kind of just helps define this area right here, you know? But I'll tell you what, one of the biggest secrets to doing this is just being happy while you're doing it. I'm going to go back into a little bit more of that, that blue color, that, that grayed light blue color right here. That was the shadow color for the foam. I think I'm going to drop in a few little thingies here and there. Just like this, back here, there, and wherever. Maybe one back there. Something like that. Let's clean that off. All right. All right, well, before I, before I go on to my next segment here of talking, let's get some thinner on here. And I'm going to get me some blue and white. I'm going to get me a very light blue color, just Prussian blue and white. And I'm going to sign this painting. Now, everybody likes to sign their paintings differently. I like to sign mine in the left corner most of the time. Just getting some more paint on the brush. we have it. There we have it. Well, here you have it. Here is a very successful seascape for any of you beginners out there. I hope to, I just, mm, I hope for all of you guys, I hope for all of you guys that you really just follow along with this basic template. This is a very, very basic template, but when mixing different colors and using different applications for this basic template, you can create some amazing, amazing sceneries. I would suggest strongly to just take this basic seascape painting right here, change the color of the sky, change the color of the water, use this to build. Maybe you wanna push this wave further back into the ocean. Maybe you wanna have three waves in front of it. Take this basic wave and just do that. You can do this. This is so, this is so much fun to do. There's so much, there's just so much to do here. There's so much to do and if you watch my regular videos, you'll hear me ramble so I don't wanna do that here. I just want to wish you the best success. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this digital download, and I hope this helps you. Play it back. Watch it 100 times. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. You can text me. Whatever you need, I'm here to help you guys. Thank you so much. I am working on a different landscape, one of these currently, as you're watching this, so that'll be out soon. Take care. Have a great day. God bless each and every one of you, and thank you sincerely once again.